Hey everyone, welcome back to FA Channel with Paris. This playlist features now is all about celebrating art, technology, and creativity. We are back to talk about full body tracking. Last week, we got an exciting email from the developer of Driver for VR that we talked about a couple of times in our previous videos. It's a full body tracking software and they have new updates. Thanks for his email showing us the new updates that we can try. Also allow us to give three giveaways today. Three Steam keys for Driver for VR. Yay! <laughs> this is our first giveaway to our audience because we really want to give more useful information and op more opportunity for everyone to get a chance to try software and things that they can use for the VR for their VR experience. So in this episode, we will give a step by step, like kind of trying, give you trying all these new options and then see how it goes. At the end, I will announce how you can win the giveaway, the Steam key. So yeah, let's get started. So if you have watched our previous video, you may have seen about, we talk about driver for VR that using Kinect as a full body tracking, that which is pretty easy relatively. But with these new updates, now you don't really need a Kinect anymore. All you need is a simple webcam, the HD webcam that you can get anywhere. Um, I assume most people have webcam at home and the setup is very easy. I will go through it later. So with the previous functions for driver for VR, they have uh, functions like using switch Joy-Con, physical marker and the P PS move, things like that all works, but it's kind of complicated. So they added two functions is the better version at this moment. First one is I just, I already mentioned is using webcam, which is very easy. They're using, they're basically using webcam to track your whole body using deep learning, almost like TTPT. I don't know if you remember, we talked about TTPT, this app on your phone that can track your full body. But TDPT, the TDPT is more for motion capture. And we also tried before the mocap for all, which needs a lot of setup, webcam, like webcams in different locations. We'll also put the cards here that pop up, you can just go in and take a look. I just think driver for VR, when you compare um, with the other options, it's just way easier to set up, especially for people like me. I'm not super, for people who are not super techie, <laughs> I think it's a easier way to do the full body tracking and also don't need huge space. Later in the video, when I try the driver for VR, you will see relatively how big is our space is. All you need to do is you have to show your whole body. In another easier function is that they, you can purchase the Steam, you can purchase driver for VR on Steam, so it'll be easier to install and everything. Now I've recorded the whole video of how I install the app and using the driver for VR in VR chat and how I um, calibrate everything. So let's go take a look. Let's go <laughs> test this driver for VR in VR chat. First of all, before you launch, so you can see this window, launching is easy, but before you launch, you have to make sure the Steam VR is on. I have to go in the, in the virtual desktop. No, what's the desktop? Yeah, virtual desktop. Launch Steam VR. Launching. Okay. Now it's launching. Now you can take off. You see it's launching. So automatically driver for VR is launching as well. You'll we'll see this Steam VR this bar show up. So the headset is active and two of the controller is active. Now you need to make this um, driver for VR sensor active as well. So you need to do is see this 
manual. Uh, oh yeah, here. So tracking is hand tracking off, hand tracking off because you already have it all active. And then body tracking, choose this webcam. So for the body tracking, there are so many options like connect skeleton, connect color, no low VR, camera markers. And then, yeah, we're just choosing the webcam and it's webcam deep learning, beta version. That's the new function that they added. We're just using like the pretty simple webcam, the simple Logitech webcam. A any webcam would do, I think. And then now you press start, Drive for VR is running. And then the Steam VR, these two icons that look like Kinect is active. And then you want to check if it's what, how if it's uh, tracking your body just click configuration now it's tracking my body so I just wear the headset mm -hmm. seems like it recognized the headset too so make sure your old body including feet you have to make sure it's all in yeah you can see from here, I can see myself, like, feet is in, body is in, I feel like a robot. <laughs> okay, now I, I want to go VR chat. Switch to VR. In this place, I, I can see the bottom, have the three trackers, it looks like the Vive controller. That is on my feet, so it's good. If it's not, just click on the calibration again to calibrate your body to make sure this control is on the right spot. Now I'm ready to go VR chat to show you. Oh yeah! Okay, now you can see I'm tracking my body. Yeah. Hello, it's good. Now you can see I'm tracking really well. So there was a problem going on in between because my partner tried it first. And what happened is his height is like 180. So when I calibrate with my avatar, my feet dig into the soil. No! Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Wow, this is really good. I wish I can just dance. This is really good. <laughs> How do you like this? Yeah, try it out. It's good. And don't forget to win free code. We're going to give away for you to try Driver for VR for free. So yeah, we so far we tried so many different kind of full body tracking, like motion, mocap for all, drivers from VR, uh, we tried it before with the Kinect sensor, and then uh, now they have new updates, it's really exciting. If you want to go VR chat easy way, I think driver for VR, VR is very good. Like, I think there's, they will update more things. Look at me, just feel very chill, and active, <laughs> and fun. <laughs> As you can see, it is very easy to set up and relatively very accurate with the full body tracking. I enjoyed it. I think it's really good. It's good enough. Yeah, considering app on Steam and the, with a webcam, right? And then there's that's the one option. The other option is using the Oculus CV1, which we don't have. I'm not sure how, uh, how many of you have CV1. We don't have CV1. So I've learned a bit from my partner what's the difference between Oculus CV1, Oculus Quest 1, and Quest 2. So basically the Oculus CV1 sensor is outside. So because Oculus 1 and 2, the sensor for tracking is inside a headset, but the CV1 is outside means you don't 
even if you put your hand behind yourself, which you can't really set, like uh, track with Quest 1 and 2, it will be like disappear. But with the sensor outside, as long as uh, within the range, you can track yourself. Just to be confirmed, the Oculus Quest 1 and 2 is with the inside out tracking method. And then Oculus CV1 is with outside in tracking method, which is same with the Vive tracker and base station, which costs maybe around like $500. So if we can find a solution, if we can really use the CV1 as a tracker, it will be a great idea. We, since we don't have, so my partner watched some tutorial videos and then try to figure out the theory. So what we did is to try to use Oculus Quest 1 and 2, both Oculus Quest as a tracker. When you get to the default area, you can see when I try the drive for VR video go uh, before get, getting to the VR, VR chat, you can see the virtual tracker almost like the control Vive controller. So the theory, theory is using Oculus CV1 for additional tracker for your lower body which is one on the pelvis and two on feet and then since we don't have the cv1 so we're using oculus quest one as the three additional tracker <laughs> what he did is put one the headset with a belt on the pelvis part and then put two controller oculus quest one controller connect like tied on the sleeper <laughs> i'll show you a photo so even if you're using the oculus cv1 you will be look like that because you have to use the headset and then the two um controller to track the lower body so as the photo shows so how it works is connect with oculus quest one using airlink and then the headset of oculus Oculus Quest 2 that connect with virtual desktop. So all this whole setup when it's ready and you can start to launch like before launch the Steam VR from virtual desktop and then driver for VR will automatically show up. Then now you choose the CV1 as the option instead of webcam. So that's how it will work. Yeah, don't forget to, to press start. Then you will start to show how this use the CV1 method works. It seems like the Oculus One, Oculus Quest 1 method we're using, it works. And then it's not really aligned at the beginning. You have to manually calibrating. So he tried a couple of times. When you see the virtual tracker, because it's not CV1, so it won't be aligned easily, you will just have to do it manually and make sure it, it is aligned with your body the lower body tracking. Then once it's close enough, it's aligned, then we can go VR chat to take a look to see if it's working well. As you can see in the video, it looks pretty accurate. Of course, again, we're not using the CV1. We're just using the option CV1 and use Oculus Quest 1 to track the lower body. If you have CV1, please try and let us know how it works. If it's doing great, I assume it works really well because as you can see, even with Oculus One Quest 1, it works. We're using the Quest, Oculus Quest 1 is really just to show you, show you the potential of this software. Go have fun. That's what I want to talk about. Now it's the exciting part, giveaway. So if you want to get the free Steam key for driver for VR, please comment our YouTube video. And then join our Discord server. There we have a new channel, giveaway channel. So you just have to write your YouTube name handle on the giveaway channel. We will randomly pick three person and send you through the Discord chat. Yeah, don't forget to comment first. I wanna see your comment. You can comment by 22nd Jap Japan time, midnight, and then we'll pick during that week and announced by the end of the month. So please comment as soon as possible and we will choose, yeah, next week period time. Another announcement is 
uh, also by the developer that contacted us. He was mentioning this great project. They're working on the VR, another VR soft, free VR software that especially helps people with disability to play VR games. I really personally think that's a great, great way to use VR. And we are also, um, personally, we're also working on a project that involves people with a disability with virtual reality. So I personally wanted to support this, this kind of project. I want to announce here that if you um, know anyone need this, software or we'll put the link underneath our video please share and let more people know that's it for today's video it's a lot of experiment that we did and takes a lot of time i hope it's helpful for you guys and i hope this is uh, relatively easy for anyone to use for your full body tracking in the vr world if you have any question please comment our video or join our discord server Please subscribe our channel please share with anyone who need this information and we're always happy to help and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video and looking forward to see the winners take care bye